Hello, welcome back to another DIY video. Um, I'm going to be making Scrabble tiles using, or faux Scrabble tiles, using some foam board. I'm cutting these down to four inch strips, and then I'm going to score them here at four inches so that I have a four inch square. I'm not going, obviously scoring, so I'm not going all the way through. Um, since we are a family of six, uh, it's quite large for me, so I'm going to be laying it out here on my floor just to make sure that I have all the correct pieces that I need. I then came back with some Waverly paint here. Um, this is the mineral color and I, I went over everything because I wanted to kind of give it a base. Um, my intention was to kind of distress it as I went along. This step ends up being useless in a way I guess. I'm not actually sure if well, yes, it is useless because I end up peeling it all off. But um, if I didn't do this step, then I suppose my final coat would have just peeled off. So, yeah, not quite sure because I guess it's just paper on top. And here, uh, my camera is doing its own thing again. Sorry about that. Um, I am putting it on some more foam board and I'm tracing out how I'm going to lay it and then I'm going to cut it out. I'm trying to make it so that they're big chunks and then I hot glue it onto the final form, um, all my individual pieces. And um, I do this for all of them and I try to overlap it so that, you know, pieces are, so that the whole thing is going to stick together. And then once I'm done this step, then I'm going to take that whole piece and I'm going to do one more layer. I'm just going to cut, uh, again, four inch strips, and then I'm going to do the whole layer, like I'm going to cover everything, just to kind of cover the seams and, and make sure that it's sturdy. So it's going to be a total of three layers of foam board. So after I had done all of that, I ended up adding some Dollar Tree spackling to all the edges just to smooth it all out, kind of uh, fill in any gaps that were there. And then um, as you can see here, that top layer just kind of started peeling off. So I ended up peeling all of those other ones off and here. I'm just showing you how easily they just came right off. Um, initially I thought I might glue them down, but then I was like, no, that's just going to look crappy. So I just peeled them off and it works better this way actually so that's why I wasn't sure maybe you know try and peel it off if you're gonna do this try and peel it off before you bother with the paint maybe the paint is what you know softened it enough to peel it off I don't know but anyway so here I'm going in with some Waverly the uh, antiquing wax and I'm just covering all my edges after of course I sanded them um, and then um, and then after I get all the edges I'm gonna go over the top portions and I'm going to uh, smear it kind of like in the seams. I then take a paper towel and I just kind of wipe it down and I did this on the whole thing and then after that was done I let it dry completely and here you can see what it looks like. It's still wet at this point but I took it out and I let it dry and then after that was dry, I went in and I did the same thing. Um, well, not the same thing. I went in and I kind of dunked my paper towel in the color and I just smeared it on there to give it a little bit of a wood grain type look. And, um, and then I let that dry completely again.
and I wanted this to be super affordable so I ended up getting these stencils from the Dollar Tree um, I kind of eyeballed it you could measure and whatnot but I eyeballed it and then I got this black paint from the Dollar Tree and these little daubers and I just went on I didn't initially I didn't really like the look they you know I feel like Scrabble letters are usually a little bit more square but I think it turned out quite nice actually I don't show it but I do end up going in with the A's and the R and the B and any letters that are that have that um, gap I go in and I, I fill those in with paint and here you can see I totally messed up and I'm gonna fix that later I was so I was kind of I was like what why are things not lining up here um you see the one that's open there that was supposed to be well you'll see it in the end anyway so I went online and I I looked up what the values of the numbers are or the letters are sorry and then I just made myself a little list and I went and I uh, used a sharpie and I wrote them in and um I think it turned out quite nice And so here you can see it says oval. <laughs> um, it's supposed to say love. And so I decided to paint my letters on the squares. And then I'm going to cut that L off very gently. And I'm going to hot glue it on. And then I'm just going to go in and I'm going to do the same thing to those edges. I'm going to cover them up. I'm going to paint them, make sure everything works out. And I think it turned out really great. It, you can't really tell. After everything was done and dried the next day, I went in with some um, Mod Podge spray and finished it off just to kind of seal everything in. And there is our finished um, Scrabble wall art. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, there are way better ways of doing it with wood, and I would have, but again, we are in a rental and I wanted to be able to hang it. It's super light. And, um, and I think it's fun and, and just something different. So if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. God bless and please like and subscribe.